Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here taking our looks at the new update um, for the beta branch and the bug fixes and additions that have been put into the game. So first off, um, it does come with a control reset um, that you're going to need to do because there is no like forward, backwards um set you do have to reset your controls so i've already done that and then um bad news is they reset some of the um i forget what they called it whatever some of the things with the wheels and the rotation so our locomotives or at least a good portion of our locomotives are uh either sunk into the ground as you can see or yeah, doing weird things again, as you can see, kind of sunk and things like that. So that's part of the new new update that is going on. Okay, so just taking a look at some of that. Unfortunately, that is a thing. We did get um, some positive things to go along with that, so we'll take a look at that. Um, for those who were wondering, did jump in on one of the old saves here just not the one we're currently working on just because there's more stuff in this world so it's a little easier to show things go into the options here quick set this up for like seven or something like that run this out a little longer and we'll turn this so that we get a decent look at some of the things that are new here to railroads online so now depending on how this stuff loads in you know as you can see there you go some weird things going on and some of the cars we've had some problems with re-railing did turn around and play around with this for a little bit seeing what some of the stuff was this time and so Definitely not a first first look here because we have looked at at this stuff. So some of the stuff we're just going to kind of show that we're having problems with. And see, there you go. Rerail the car, that's great. But then how do you rerail the car when it does that? Now whether it'll load in different the next time or not after a save, that's hard saying. It does say something about some of them you're going to have to rerail. They're stuck in the ground and after you load back in your save they'll be right so you know who knows how that's gonna work haven't got that far into it yet there we go and then some of them will re-rail fine some other things that they did turn around and change there you go okay. so now the railing sound is definitely different um, we also have a couple other things they did fix um, the climax so the climax no longer does the oh that is now the brake handle sound so when you spin on the brakes on any of the cars that's the sound that we get do you have the sounds cranked up so apologize if that's too loud for anybody but wanted to make this stuff noticeable so then we'll get into the um glenbrook which has now got a slight change if you go to headlight number four you get the star up front which is realistic to the locomotive they also did add some um paint options up here there's now it goes all the way up to 11 which I think that's a new deal and then they did fix um, some of the numbers. So now that if you have longer numbers, they're supposed to wrap with the cab. I haven't totally looked into that much. I have seen, like on the Glenbrook here, it's a problem because it puts the number now behind a star on the front plate. So that's a little weird. But see, as you can see, the numbers actually do start to wrap now on the Steam Dome instead of, you know, just going into Oblivion so we will show that sorry didn't need to back out of that just rapidly kick up through this 
The Climax did get um, a fix, like I said. No more burnout, no more crazy, just sit there and spin like a tune. So there's the Climax. Looking and sounding good actually is functioning now, so that's good. We finally got, uh, you know, a proper working Climax. That's a good one to have. And then we also did get a new piece of bridge work which do my best to give a little look at there we will just run this up to get it off the ground and then come in and here you see it the truss bridge color options on that bridge oxidized copper steel bridge Aluminum, silver, steel, what did I say? Steel beige, oxidized copper. Let's go with that. Oh, there we go. It's kind of green. That's cool. And you can see that'll click in. And the nice thing is, is they do run together. Um, no curve in it. At least I don't think. Yeah, no curve at all. Just straight. But they do snap into um, one another like that. And then there you go. And the nice part there is there's no footing. So this should give people the opportunity to um, actually run, you know, some of those sky bridges, if you will. Or, you know, just the tall bridges where you can't get any of the groundwork to, or, you know, trusses to hit the ground. And you end up having to stack bridges and then delete and groundwork and all that, whatever you want to do there. But this is going to alleviate some of that. So we will now be able to go high bridge. We effectively have a high bridge and can take that wherever we want to. So that'll be, you know, a nice option. It did also come along with a lot of, you know, debugs. They um, put in some stuff that should open up the um game to lower end or older software i believe was their wording or hardware excuse me not software but so effectively the game should be able to be run now even with the unreal 5 engine on some easier um older pcs or lower end hardware however you want to look at it you know it's a thing or hopefully that's a thing so people see some you know better performance there and get an opportunity to continue to play the game no that's been an issue for you know some people in a big question mark you just don't know how things are gonna how things are gonna go because we could turn around and look at this bridge in some of the other color options just as we're standing here mine as well oops probably actually have to change the uh color option it's going to be a thing because you have to you know whatever this the scroll down is always kind of a pain uh, they don't want me to put it right there and then i don't know do we have uh, this one so we do have one more there we go so it does come in a variety of colors which that's kind of cool i mean i do have to say it's kind of neat to actually have almost you know a tunnel bridge not quite but and i'm not sure exactly what these kind of bridges are called but if you know drop that in the comments down below but we did get some color options to it and uh you know it opens up the sky bridge option or the high bridge option however you want to call it so I like that Climax finally being fixed. That's pretty cool. The re-railing thing. I'm not exactly sure, obviously, how these cars are going to work out. I do know that a bunch of the other cars are re-railing just fine. So we'll just have to see what happens with like some of these cars that are obviously not re-railing properly. It's still spinning off the track. There we go. But back on and then to, oops, of course, there we go. Some of the new brake sounds. So that's pretty cool. And again, this is cool. And then there's, I don't know if there's 
squealing wheel. What was what's the thing there? Let's see if we can. Let's see if I can get this hooked up without having to build up steam. I thought there was something about wheels. Let's just do a hook up here real quick. Thing is, you're not going to get that unique sound, I don't believe, anymore. There's no clang. Oh, there is still a clang. So, that, okay. Well, I don't know why. Well, that's still clang. So, that's cool. You still get the hookup sound. Schooling sounds or nothing. No, nope, nothing crazy there. You do still get the unique hookup sound though, obviously there when we hook up, so that's cool. Yep, and when it disconnects. So that's good to see, or good to hear. Not really to see, but there you go. That's just kind of the, <clears throat> you know, not exactly the first looks, but kind of second looks and showing of what we see in the new update with railroads online. So a few things to enjoy and definitely a few pains to go along with that, the good and the bad of the new Railroads Online update. But there it is. I think with that, we're going to call it a win. Say thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but sure do help the channel. Y'all have yourselves a good day.